it's a parasite, but all it, you can see the mistletoe is green. So what that tells you is the mistletoe has photosynthesis. It actually produces its own food. But what it robs from the tree is water and nutrients. It, it can't get water and nutrients. So it taps into the cambium layer of the tree and, and robs water and nutrients from the tree. And through the process of photosynthesis in the leaves, it manufactures its own food, its sugars and stuff, for it to grow. And eventually, so the mistletoe, like right in here, is probably weakening the tree, but it'll take decades sometimes to kill it because it has to get robbed so much nutrients that uh, it's going to affect the health of the tree. Which this has got quite a bit. Uh, and you, uh, you can't just break it off and think you get rid of it because when you, the roots tap into the cambium layer, they start following it down towards the trunk. The roots of the mistletoe follow it down the trunk. So you have to cut the branch off to wherever before the roots get past that. I mean, you don't, it's a guess to know where they, how far the roots go down. Uh, it's mistletoe berries are white. And that's a good indication that it's poisonous. The mistletoe berries are white. If you use the old uh, saying, you know, uh, black and blue, it's good for you. If it's red, use your head. If it's white, please don't bite. Uh, so black and black and blue berries, about 80% of them are edible. Red berries, about 50% are edible, and white berries, about 10 to 10 to 20 percent are edible. So, whenever you see a white berry, chances are you'll either get really sick or die.